Hi, I'm Tubby Pencil, and welcome to the video. So today I decided to do a sort of character design challenge because I think I should work on making my characters and drawings a bit more unique. Here's my list. Yes, I know it is definitely not pretty, but it works. So let's go through the rules of the challenge. First, draw something every day based on the challenge list. Second, these drawings will be colored sketches since I would literally die if I needed to make an entire finished piece each day while also working on other videos. Also, this will most likely be posted after I do this art, so get ready for some outdated drawings, whack character ideas, and general chronological weirdness. Ah, uh, so let's get into the art! So my first character that I'm drawing here, well, two characters technically, are called Sorakia and Glaresha for now. I'm not sure about the names, but I guess they're okay. Uh, they're sort of like dragon royalty but i was kind of having trouble coming up with anything else about their stories or personalities while i was drawing i did figure out inside my brain that glaresha the taller one is a bit haughty while saragia lives in her shadow a bit and is more sarcastic than anything but that does leave me with the problem of character individuality having two characters fused together leaves me in a bit of a predicament since one can't do anything without the other noticing so it pretty much makes it very hard for me to create a plausible and unique story for each of them around this drawing but that gave me an idea. What if, say, there was a species of dragons that could merge on command, and then unmerge so they can live their lives? My first thought was, wow, that's really weird, I kind of hate that. But then my second thought was, yeah, I don't think there's an any less weird explanation that would make this work. So yeah, these dragons can merge with each other now. Fun. Now let's make some annoying rules to make this ability really frustrating to use. So first rule, they can only bond with their twin, triplet, quadruplet, etc, which means dragons that have this ability are pretty rare. Their rate of twins and stuff like that is probably higher than humans though. And since I don't want to leave the twinless ones completely powerless in the cool strange abilities sector of things, they can also, um, have venomous spikes on their back. And the twins can't have this because, um, they would stab the other dragon in the egg. Yes. Okay, <laughs> now I'm gonna stop talking before this gets any weirder. Okay, second drawing. The word I got for this one was metal, so I kind of tried to make a metal dragon. Eventually, I can see myself using the sketch as a jumping off point to make a metal dragon species, although I probably have to figure out how they evolved that way. Maybe humans bred some dragons to be as shiny as they could possibly make them? Seems like something that could happen. Anyway, if some of them broke free, I think they would hunt tonight, where the glare coming off their armor wouldn't show as much. They also have those funky glowing eyes, so yeah. On to the next drawing. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like it. The colors are bland and uninspired, and the rendering is bleh, and it just ended up not looking unique, and the story is like a whole other thing that I do not want to talk about right now. I think part of that was that I was really stressed that day, so I wanted to rush and get it done as soon as possible since I had other things to do that I really need to get to. With all that out of the way though, I really do think, like, I mean, the story has some potential. I mean, why does she have a lantern? Why is she staring us like that? Why does she seem like she want to kill us? Well, I guess I came up with a vague storyline for that. So she was born with red wings, and red is the color of death where she comes from, so she gets kicked out as a hatchling. She discovers that her red markings mean something. Though she hasn't figured out what, she has discovered that she has the power to control flutter wyverns, which I hate the name for, but they're tiny firefly-like creatures that she uses to power her lantern. She lures young dragons from her old home and gives them a scare with it, however she knows that they didn't do anything to her. Her goal is to get revenge on the dragons who exiled her and take leadership for herself. Alright, that's the end of this video. I'm sorry in advance for all the parts I'll have to make, but if I do it this way, I can get the content to you guys faster, and y'all won't get bored since I'm not doing too many in a video. That's all. See you next time.